everybody, it's Rachel here and I have just finished a busy afternoon at work so excuse the cash clothing but a quick change. Um, I thought I would have a little chat with you guys about what's involved in a pregnancy massage because I've had, um, I've had some lovely new pregnancy clients over the last three, four weeks. Um, for you guys who've been um, been here to see me, thank you very much for, for coming, really appreciated. Um, so I've had some new pregnancy clients. I've also had um, uh, a mum who, is, who I've seen before, who is pregnant again, and um, yeah, lovely. You know, recurring clients, always, lo always lovely to see. But I think it's quite difficult when you're looking at booking a pregnancy massage to know what you're looking for kind of the do's and the don'ts. So I thought I would give you a quick little look at the couch, see if we can see it there. Can you see how that is angled? I'm gonna move it around that way. With a raised back for support and a pillow under the head and then a bolster underneath the knees. So a few little points for you guys who are looking at um, booking something for a pregnancy that you need to be aware of. I have quite a lot of um, dads-to-be booking vouchers um, and they are understandably apprehensive to make sure that they're booking the right thing. Regardless of your stage of your pregnancy, you have got considerations that need to be taken into account and that should be addressed by your massage therapist. So number one, a pregnancy massage is suitable from the very early days. Um, it's just adapted, so basically no tummy work. So obviously in those early days you are able to still be face down if that is comfortable and that is absolutely fine from a safety point of view. However, as your pregnancy develops, we need to adapt your position throughout the, throughout the massage. And that varies through all the trimesters. Um, I've been 15 years, 15 years I've been doing pregnancy massage. Um, it's still a joy, really is. And it's a real privilege to be part of that journey. Um, but it's also crucial that you speak to your therapist and you explain aches, pains, even things that maybe you haven't said to your midwife or health visitor or doctor that you're kind of going, oh, I won't mention that because it's really, oh, my skin just gets itchy and that's fine. Actually, they are indicators of other things. So be really upfront. You know, if it's me, tell me everything that's going on, um, good, the bad and the ugly, and we can adapt. And that will change throughout the um, pregnancy as well. So all of that we can work with, okay? So you will be supported when the time comes that you can no longer lie flat on your back okay and um, and you need that back raised and that is a really really important feature that you need to be looking for depending on where else you're booking your massage the other thing that i've got is my da, 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 looks like a torture device it is a massage chair and it is i'm going to i'm going to get on my chair now so you can see actually that's quite a nice way of doing it can you see me there on the chair So my lovely cushion here, velcroed, can be rotated and adjusted for the size of your bump. How fab is that? So for a lot of people um, in early pregnancy and throughout shoulder pain, you know, which most probably to be fair, you had beforehand and you chose to ignore, no longer, because now we can fit it into part of your pregnancy massage. The lovely thing about this chair is I'm gonna lean forward so you can see, is you can lean forward onto the chair. I do some strange videos for you guys, don't I? Um, one, bump is supported and not hanging loose because it's all supported underneath the frame, if you can see. Sorry about the headrest looking like that. That is from many years of copious cleaning. It has removed the dye from the leather. There we go. Um, the other thing is you can adjust the boobs as you need to, to fit under, which is obviously really important. This face then comes up, so the face mask, face mask, God, look at my PPE. The face uh, rest will come up. So it means that I can access all of lower back, 
glutes. Glutes can be a really, glutes and hips, a really big issue in pregnancy. When you get to the stage, actually, you just feel too uncomfortable on the chair, which varies for everybody, by the way. Then we go back on the couch. I'm dismounting, bear with me. Da, 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 da. We're back on the couch. Couch is there, looking lovely, a little bit of a look around. But I'm gonna put you side lying. Now the key is with side lying is you need, I, you need to be massively propped, okay? Your bump will be supported with towels throughout. Might be one, might be two. You just have to see how you go. Depends on how much support you need there. And that actually doesn't tend to be, um, it tends to be really personal taste on that one. So, and then side lying and rotate so we do left side and right side at which point the couch comes down so you are nearly flat on your side but you will be supported in all the right areas by towels okay really important that you're not left feeling that bump is is unsupported um, or boobs either um, but it's a great way of working around the pelvic girdle because in those later stages, those later weeks, it can be really, really tough to cope with the pelvic pain. And if any of you have had SPD, um, symphysis pubis dysfunction, then that can kick in much, much earlier. And massage, because obviously we're working the soft tissue, can really, really help. So if you are at home, pregnant, struggling as you're getting up from the sofa, down from the sofa, and turning in bed because your hips are agony, then just so you know, massage is a great way of helping that. Nothing can stop the SPD once it kicks in, but we can help alleviate some of the discomfort that's being experienced in the muscles and the soft tissue. So quick little overview for you, because you know I like to do all these little, these little quick ones, um, but you can see couch, and the chair, okay? So we can adjust everything from every stage, from those first early days to, I saw a lovely lady again today who is going for her C-section tomorrow, and she still came to see me. Um, also, you can come and see me if you are overdue. I am not promising miracles, because if I could, oh, yes, I would be in, yes, I, I, I would, be living in a different house I think by now um, but it can really help relax you so if you are aiming for a as natural birth as you're trying to go for and you know you're getting stressed about it or even if you don't think you're getting stressed about it chances are if you're overdue you're already thinking oh god if I hit 10 days I'm going to be induced I don't want to be induced I don't want the drugs um, I don't want a cesarean I don't want it to go you know we spiral in these things so if you need to come for a chill out I can't promise a um, to bring on a, a, any labour. Well, you never, fingers crossed. Um, positive thinking is what I say with that one, but what I can do is help you relax. And if your body is relaxed and that lovely oxytocin, which floods the system with massage, which is your happy hormone, if that starts flooding your system, then hopefully, hopefully the little message, because your baby will also feel the oxytocin, which is another gorgeous benefit of pregnancy massage, because baby benefits too. Yeah, so if you have got one of those restless babies, you go, oh my gosh, they are always on the go in there. Massage, they love a massage. That oxytocin, they benefit from that as well. That goes through the umbilicals straight to them. Um, and then you end up having a chill baby as well. What's not to love about that? So I will make sure you are supported throughout. We can adapt for every stage from the early doors right the way through to overdue. Um, if, you're in, if you've got any questions, you're not sure of something, wondering about the masks, don't worry about the masks. I mask, you don't have to unless you want to, okay? Ventilation is really good in here and I've also managed to borrow lovely Dyson fan can you see I don't know where is it where's the Dyson fan there it is look that's a fucking beauty isn't it so we're keeping lovely and cool in here okay um 
pregnancy clients the last couple of days, none of them have overheated. Overheating is a massive issue um, during um, pregnancy for you guys. Keep cool, top tip for you, feet in cold iced water if you're overheating. All right, little tip to see you through. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, any questions, feel free to ping me any comments underneath. You know, I, I love hearing from you guys. Um, but again, with the pregnancy massage, you know, you need to feel you're in safe hands. And I get that. So if in doubt and you want to know more, just get in contact, okay? Details are on the website as well. But you can message me, text me, email me, call me, comment below. I've got various methods and hopefully one of them will suit you. Um, bookings are via the online booking system, super easy to do. So if you just want to go ahead and book, please do. Um, but rest assured, I will look after you during your pregnancy. Okay? Thanks for watching. As always, I'm heading off home because I think it's about half past six. And I will look forward to seeing you guys at another Facebook Live soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.